हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज आई फील दैट सम स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग डाउट इन दिस एक्सरसाइज दैट इज फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर सो लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट दैट वॉट इज द वे टू डू द क्वेश्चन गिवन इन फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर अंडरस्टैंड दम केयरफुली एंड लिसन ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट वेरी केयरफुली एंड लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ एनी लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी in these type of questions you need to do whatever is given there in the statement read them carefully and do step wise like if we start the first thing is draw any line segment ab so without any thinking of the second line i'm just first of all going to draw yeah this is question number 1 i'm telling you so draw any line segment ab so no length is given so i am just drawing line segment always remember if line segment is asked you need to draw only line segment so ab they are saying so this is line segment ab two dots i have made here the end points a and b this is a line segment not line if we need to draw a line then we need to extend it and need to put the arrows but it is a line segment so this is a and this is b now the next line now we going to read is mark any point m on it now no space is given so anywhere we can mark any point m in the on this line so anywhere you can mark m suppose i am marking it here m okay now the next thing which is given to us is throw m means why are this m draw a perpendicular to ab means we need to draw a perpendicular on this line ab now i am going to tell you the method to draw the perpendicular on a line segment on a given point so it's very easy just try to understand carefully now first of all you need to open compass of radius of your own choice like i have opened like this and one thing is never hold pencil from here just hold it from the tip or from the side wise and then draw otherwise it may possible that the radius of the uh, this arc may change see now i have drawn you might have seen that this is just near about this is but this is the given point b and it is drawn till here now what we need to draw a perpendicular yes so first thing is to make a arc just open your compass and make a arc put the needle on this m m take m as center and draw the arc now you need to reopen the compass and the measurement which we you need to take is more than half means the arc which you have taken and the distance of this point and this point then it should be more than half like i have increased see okay so you need to open it more than half the distance from this point to this point so i'm keeping it here you can see m is the midpoint here and this is more than that now just take this point as center means put the needle on this point and make a arc here okay and now put this on this point this is not b remember b is here and i am putting it here where this arc cut the given line segment and then just do a cut now you get a point here just mark this point a little okay and this is the point on which we need to draw the perpendicular now we need to join this and this point fine and draw this line this is a line you can put arrow also here fine this is question 1 in which you need to draw only a perpendicular on a given point like which is m on a line segment ab so that's all about the question 1 after this we going to start question number 2 in this it is given that draw any line segment pq it is just similar to this take any point r not on it but now the second point is we need to take a point r which should be 
not on this PQ. So let us start question number two. I am doing it here. First of all, draw a line segment PQ. See, I have drawn the line segment PQ. Now, take a point R not on it. Means we need not to take point R on this line segment. So, anywhere we can take this point R. I'm, I have taken here. Now, the next thing which is given, we need to draw a perpendicular to PQ. We need to draw a perpendicular to PQ. But here it is said in the question that use ruler and set square. Now, we need to draw the perpendicular using ruler and set square. So, this is our ruler, you can see, and this is set square. Now, from these two set squares, you can use any one set square. That will be enough for us. Suppose I am using this. And now, just put this set square against this ruler. Fine. Now, the thing is, the set square, this set square should coincide with the line segment which we have drawn. Are you getting my point? This is the line segment and I am coinciding the side with this. Okay. So, this set square is coinciding with the given line segment. Now, against this set square, I am putting this scale or you can say ruler. Ruler is the right word. So, I am putting this ruler here. Now, what you need to just hold this ruler here as I am holding. Fine. Just hold this ruler like this and then start dragging your set square till the time you reached till this point R. You can see we reach to R. Then just hold it and then mark. Just draw the line segment from this point till here. Okay. Now what we get is a you can write like this. What we get is a perpendicular on the line segment PQ and R point was not on this line segment and we have used one set square and ruler to draw this. So this is your question number two, how you do this. Now after this, we are going to start question number three. Fine. And for each and every question, you need to write given and to construct that you will write yourself. But some students are having doubt. So that's why I'm taking these doubts of this exercise. Now, question number three. In this question, it is said to draw a line L. Now, just remember it is given draw a line L, not the line segment. So line L means we need to show arrow on both the sides. So I'm just drawing a line. You can see, I'm drawing a little big line. Fine. And putting arrows on both sides. And now I'm writing its name L. After this, it is said draw a line L and then and a point X on it. Means on this line we need to take a point X somewhere. Suppose I'm taking it here and naming it as X. Now through X draw a line segment XY perpendicular to L. Means we need to draw a line segment XY which should be perpendicular on this line. As we have done in question 1, it is just similar to this. It was a line segment. It is a line. First of all, we need to draw. What we need to draw? We need to draw a perpendicular on line L on point X. Okay. So, you can see what you need to do here. Just open up of uh, open the compass and uh, put an arc. It's a kind of semicircle, and then reopen the compass more than half of the gap from here and here. Okay. If we name it, suppose I'm naming it as A and B. For example, this point is suppose A and this is B. So whatever the distance between A and B. 
it should be more than the compass should be open more than half so c i have opened more than half fine now more than half i have opened and then put a r fine now put the needle on point b and then again put a r okay now we need to join this point x and this point fine we have just drawn this line segment which is what which is a perpendicular on this line l now take a point y on it anywhere i'm taking y here anywhere you can take fine now as it is said in this question that you need to draw a line segment xy perpendicular to l can you see this is xy perpendicular to l now the question is not ended yet now draw a perpendicular to xy at y means now again we need to draw a perpendicular on this line xy xy line segment on point y on point y so i'm rotating it a little so that i can comfortably draw it now same procedure as you have done here you need to repeat means just open your compass and put the needle on this point y and draw a semicircle an arc okay which is touching this line segment xy okay now again i am saying just put the needle on this point and open a little more means the gap whatever the gap is here open a little more fine and then put an arc here and one more arc you need to put here now again the same thing you get a point here you need to join this fine you need to join this now what we get we get an i'm put nam giving the name it as z fine now we got y z we just get y z which is perpendicular to this x y so overall we have drawn two perpendiculars here one on the line l so perpendicular x y x y line segment is perpendicular on l fine and what is the next thing we have done and this z y or y z both are the same thing so any name you want to write you can write z y or y z y z is perpendicular to where it is perpendicular it is perpendicular to x y i hope these three questions are clear to you this will help you doing your questions and the practice more and more drawing these arcs joining these points i saw many students are not able to join them properly you need to uh, keep care for this thing that you mark the exact point put the scale or the ruler on the exact point by holding the pencil like this and holding the other point like this and then join okay it should not go away out of this so thanks to you